The heaviest rain in 115 years pounded Seoul and surrounding areas, leaving 11 people dead and eight others missing. Among the victims was a family of three who lived in a semi-basement known as the Panjiha. A woman with a developmental disability, her younger sister, and the sister's teenage daughter sought help after their home was flooded by the heavy rains but failed to escape. As of 2020, around 200,000 or 5% of the total homes in Seoul had been in the basement or semi-basement levels. It has been an affordable housing option for urban dwellers because of its cheap price amid the rapidly growing housing prices. Even before the recent tragedy, domestic and foreign media shed light on the life in Panjiha after the Oscar-winning film Parasite portrayed a poor Kim family living in a tiny dark semi-basement home. As seen in the film and in real life, Panjiha is not an ideal place to live. Located underground, many Panjiha homes are vulnerable to flooding as they are the first to get submerged during monsoons due to rising waters. In fact, most of the victims damaged by the recent floods in Seoul were low-income residents who live underground. The situations were not so different back in 2010 and 2011 when the city was swamped by heavy rain. In addition, residents in Panjiha often battle against musty smell, mold, and pest with little sunlight and fresh air inside. To stop such tragedies from recurring, Seoul City decided to no longer give permission to construct basement or semi-basement homes while pushing to gradually weed out existing subterranean homes. The city will start consultations with the government to revise the Building Act so as to totally prohibit the use of basement or semi-basement spaces for residential purposes. It plans to give a grace period of up to 20 years for owners of existing houses to divert them into non-residential uses. But concerns are rising on the other hand, as for some, Panjiha may be the only housing option they can afford.